let's investigate the diagonal matrix representation of the controlled Z gate. The controlled Z gate is denoted by CZ. It can be expressed as a linear combination of Pauli matrix tensor products. We're going to have the terms II plus ZI plus IZ minus ZZ. So there are four terms in this linear combination. This notation is shorthand notation for the tensor product of two matrices. So I and Z are both two by two matrices. They are single qubit gates. But if we take two separate two by two matrices and apply the tensor product, we can combine them into a four by four matrix. And a four by four matrix can be divided up into four quadrants. And each of those quadrants are two by two matrices. And what is really convenient about these uh, Pauli matrix tensor products is that they are diagonal. So we're going to write them using some other notation underneath. So we'll still have this coefficient of one half, that is a normalization coefficient. Then we're going to have this notation, capital D, for diagonal. And when we take the tensor product of an identity with another identity, we're actually going to get two identities along the diagonal. So we can write that as I, I. And what about over here? Well, we're going to have another diagonal matrix, and the entries of this diagonal matrix are going to have, this Z is going to have an I inserted inside of it, so it's going to be I minus I. So this is what happens if we insert the identity inside the Pauli Z. The off-diagonal terms are zero, so they're just going to give zero contributions. We're only getting terms along the diagonal. All of the other terms that are not on the diagonal, they are zero. Now, what about these two terms over here? Well, for this term, where we have the identity first and then Pauli Z, we're going to have Pauli Z and then Pauli Z. So we're just inserting the Pauli Z and the identity just has ones. So that's why it's just going to appear twice along the diagonal. Then we're going to subtract off a diagonal matrix that has the, the entries Z and then minus Z. So over here we're going to have Z and then we're going to have a coefficient of minus one because we're inserting the Z inside of another Z. And I'll close the bracket over here. So those are the four combinations that we get. This is just a, a different notation for these tensor products of Pauli matrices. Now let's write this in a more explicit notation. So if we write it in a more explicit notation, we can unpack these diagonal matrices as one, 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 one. So we just have four ones. This is exactly the same matrix that we're dealing with up here. We've just in unpacked these i's uh, in terms of their elements. And then what about this matrix? Well, we're going to have one, one, minus one, minus one. And then I'll write these other guys in the row below. We're going to have, for this one, one minus one, followed by one minus one. So you can identify uh, this is the identity, and this is the minus of the identity. And over here we have Pali Z, followed by Pali Z. What about over here? We're going to have minus the diagonal matrix that has entries 1 minus 1, and then we have minus 1 plus 1. So here we have Pali Z, and here we have minus Pali Z. And I'll close the brackets over here. So these are the four terms just expressed in another different notation. Now what we can do is combine these two terms together and these two terms together. Let's do that below. So if we combine this term and this term, we're going to get uh, the third and fourth entries to cancel, and the first and second entries are going to add to give two. And we have this coefficient of one half, which we can multiply to cancel that factor of two. So that's going to give us a diagonal matrix with entries uh, 1, 1, 0, 0. So the third and fourth entries have cancelled, but these entries have remained 1. Now, what's going to happen over here? Well, if we do the same thing for these two combinations, we're going to get a diagonal matrix 
that has entries 0, 0, 1, minus 1. Can you see why this is occurring? This entry and this entry are going to cancel. This entry and this entry are going to cancel. These two entries are going to combine to give a plus 1 when we divide by this 1 half. And finally, this entry and this entry are going to give minus 2. And then when we divide by 2, that's just going to give us minus 1. So this we can just add, and that's going to give us a diagonal matrix that has entries 1, 1, 1, and minus 1. This is the matrix representation of the controlled Z gate. And I'll write this out in the standard notation for matrices. So along the diagonal, we're going to have 1, 1, 1, and minus 1. And everywhere else, we're going to have zeros. So we're going to have a 0 here, a 0 here. Uh, then we're going to have another 0 here, another 0 here, 0, 0, some zeros over here, and finally some zeros here, and that is it. And we can also uh, actually break this up into uh, smaller quadrants. So you can imagine this over here as being broken up into four quadrants. Over here we have the identity, and over here we have Pauli Z. And I can put some nice brackets around here, and we can see this is just a normal matrix. So another way we can write this, so this is still the controlled Z gate, we can also express this as a block diagonal matrix, which has the identity followed by Pauli Z. So first we have identity, then Pauli Z. So this is a very interesting notation that allows us to see the quadrants that occur in these 4x4 four four matrices. And this notation is very useful when we're dealing with diagonal matrices. In this notation, we don't have to write out all of the zero terms. So you can see we have a lot of zeros that we're omitting using this notation. So a diagonal matrix, by definition, only has non-zero entries along the diagonal. And all of these terms and this control Z gate, they are all diagonal matrices. Hopefully this video helped uh, with these matrix representations. We're going to see other matrix representations of two qubit gates in other videos in the quantum mechanics playlist. You can find all those videos if you click over here.